Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today we are going to speak about the engine thrust management. Engine thrust management. Probably you know that always we have for the engine some indications to measure engine performance and engine condition parameters engine performance and engine condition monitoring okay everybody probably you hear about e bar engine pressure ratio and you hear about n1 n1 okay and always e bar and n1 is a primary engine indication a primary engine indication parameters uh, like in airbus everybody you have engine indication on an upper e cam and the lower e cam on the upper ECAM engine and warning display, for example, you have EBAR N1, N2, EGT, fuel flow. This is the primary engine indication parameter. That is the FADIC sent it directly to the upper ECAM engine and warning display. On the lower ECAM, we have engine secondary parameter, like oil quantity, pressure, and temperature. Fuel uh, uh, used, maybe and also the vibration indication vibration indication okay everybody so this indication everybody is engine condition and engine performance indication engine performance indication and engine condition monitoring indication okay everybody these are used for engine thrust measurement and engine thrust indication engine thrust indication okay everybody so here you will know the list of parameters that may be used to represent the thrust e bar or n1 like the airbus which is uh, equipped with v2500 engine having e bar as the primary engine parameter or a primary engine indication parameter and on vice versa the cfm engine cfm 56-5b having n1 used for thrust measurement used for n1 engine rbm low pressure rotor speed rbm okay everybody so we will explain the operating principle of using an engine with eber okay indication and explain the consequence of incorrect or missing eber in case of uh, we loss the indication of eber the engine must be reversed to N1 mode, N1 mode, because for thrust uh, measurement, we use either E bar or N1, either E bar or N1. Okay, everybody. So, yes, some engine do have the E bar as an engine indication. Okay, engine performance indication, but in case of E bar failure, in case of e bar failure we revert to n1 mode we revert to n1 mode okay everybody so examples of indication of e bar and n1 like the v2500 engine having uh, uh, e bar as the primary control engine parameter and in the on the cfm engine we have n1 as the primary control parameter or primary engine indication parameter okay everybody so as you can see here everybody engine and instruments are divided into two main categories these categories are performance indicators and engine condition indicators okay everybody again engine and instruments are divided into two main categories these categories are engine performance indicators and the engine condition indicator engine condition indicators Performance indicators, everybody, are thrust indicating instruments. Performance indicators are thrust indicating instruments, such as the engine pressure ratio. Okay, engine pressure ratio, E bar, engine pressure ratio, using E bar gauge. Or you can monitor the performance of the engine on an E bar gauge. E bar gauge or the fan speed n1 low pressure rotor speed and the pilot monitors the fan speed on n1 gauge n1 gauge so either e bar gauge as an instrument or fan speed low pressure rotor 
gauge as an instrument okay everybody as an instrument everybody they are performance indicators engine performance indicators okay everybody this always indica indicated for for example on the airbus on the upper e cam primary engine performance indicator parameters okay everybody on the lower e cam we have engine condition indicators engine condition indicators like the oil pressure oil quantity and oil temperature oil pressure and oil temperature gauges are called engine are used and are called engine condition indicators also egt everybody exhaust gas temperature exhaust gas temperature egt gauge is an engine condition indicator you know everybody that the turbine is the heart of the engine and the turbine is manufactured from certain material that can withstand certain limitation of temperature certain limitation of temperature so always we need to have a certain EGT in order to have a good engine operating and in order to assure that the turbine operates in a good manner. Okay, everybody. EGT also is an engine condition indicator and also compressor speed indications, which is N2, compressor speed indications. They are also engine condition indicators, engine condition indicator. So always everybody for thrust measurement and for engine condition indication, we have performance indicators and engine condition indicators, engine performance indicators and engine condition indicators. They are the main indication and the, uh, the two main categories of engine instrument indicators. Some for performance indicator like EBAR and N1, and other for engine condition indicator like EGT, compressor speed indication, which is N2, uh, high speed rotor, okay, in, 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 in a bypass uh, 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 engines or, or twin spool engines. Oil pressure and oil temperature gauges are used for engine condition monitoring indicators. Engine condition monitoring indicators. Okay, everybody, thank you always for your good listening. And always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely. From Cairo, Egypt, your host was Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Thank you and goodbye.